Prince Andrew, Prince Andrew, Prince Andrew, Prince Andrew. Guys, major update today in regards to Prince Andrew and his circle of friends seem to be falling one by one. But why is this man still around? Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another, with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. I would appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel and let's get straight into this mess where we have Prince Andrew who, his friend, Prince Andrew's tycoon, Peter Nygaard, one of his great friends, has been found guilty, guys, of assaulting four women. The 82-year-old Canadian fashion mogul was convicted after a six-week trial today, and he's been found guilty. He pleaded not guilty to all charges. However, five women testified that they were invited to his Toronto offices with the promises of tours or job interviews and all ended up in his private suite where four of them were assaulted by this man in many ways. And one of them was even 16, guys. One called Nygaard a monster. Another said he lunged at me and adeptly pinned me on his bed. I kept repeating the word no at least 50 times. She said Nygaard sexually assaulted her and another woman landed her an emergency contraceptive pill on her way out. During the trial, Canadian prosecutor Anne Serban accused Nygaard of having used his power and status as a wealthy fashion designer to lure these young women. Nygaard has denied all of these allegations. However, of course, he is definitely, he's definitely going down and he is facing these significant charges and forcible confinement in separate cases in Quebec and Manitoba relating to allegations in the 1990s. He was cleared of one, but he also also is facing charges in the US. He invited Prince Andrew and ex Sarah Ferguson to his luxurious estate in the Bahamas in 2000. He and the prince were pictured together. Prince Andrew, Sarah Ferguson and their two daughters toured the grounds of Nygaard's estate for two hours but did not stay at the mansion. His arrest came after whistleblower released footage that included a 17 year old dancing on a stripper pole on Nygaard's 727 plane. Yet again guys it's all about you know Pamper parties where girls were drugged and women, you know, were assaulted and they were claimed he would he paid from corporate accounts for victims plastic surgery and um, abortions. So it's an absolute mess. But yet again, it's one of Prince Andrew's close friends where he went to this Bahamas island, um, went to the Bahamas, sorry, where Nygaard had X, Y, Z. So this man, of course, has now basically been found guilty when it comes to four accounts, four different women. He's also facing charges in America. These are just four accounts in Canada. But this is Prince Andrew's very close friend. And yet again, this now raises more questions when it comes to Prince Andrew, because birds that flock together, questions should be raised. If it's not Ghislaine, if it's not Epstein, who were close friends with Andrew and were seen everywhere with him, and you know, he had this close friendship with, uh, with Epstein asking for money as well, then yet again, another one of his tycoon close friends has also not gone, gone down for, you know, these accounts and, you know, young girls and etc. So it's all a pattern here, guys. So, and not only that, but I feel like Prince Andrew has not gone down yet. I very much believe that this man is guilty with my absolute chest and doing a lot of things. I do not think this man is innocent in any capacity. And I'm saying that with my chest. That is what I believe, alleged maybe or not, but that's what I believe, allegedly. But I feel like he's being protected because he is a royal man of the family. And it will be catastrophic for the monarchy to go and be associated with this, with him being found guilty of X, Y, Z. It was reported recently, you know, a couple months ago, um, around May, not even May, sorry, in September, where there are files on Prince Andrew, but they are only going to be released once he's dead. It's giving Jimmy Savile. That's what it's giving. It's giving files of atrocities Andrew has done will only be announced to the public once he's dead because he can't face repercussions because he's going to be protected. I thought his protection would be expired since Elizabeth's parting because you can't be arrested around the Queen for some dumb reason. She's dead now. He's still alive. He's still roaming around his cottages and free to do whatever the hell he wants to do. Slowly merging in, going to with, you know, driveways and, and being driven, sorry, by Kate and William and etc. and hanging with Charles again. This man, I feel like, has done a lot of crazy stuff. Yet again, another one of his close friends has gone down for all of this stuff. And Andrew just meant to be this innocent bystander who knew nothing but was going to these islands with these people. Make of it what you will, guys. Make of it what you will. Let me know your thoughts on when it comes to this. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys, for daily and consistent content. Subscribe. I would appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.